the Beijing Tianjin Hebei region recently experienced an unprecedented deluge of heavy rainfall, causing major damage. Persistent severe rainstorms caused by the remnants of typhoon have lashed the region since Saturday. In response, local authorities have launched massive rescue and relief efforts. According to official reports, more than 540,000 people in Hebei province have been severely affected by the relentless downpour. Hebei province typically experiences an average annual rainfall of 137.4 mm. However, during this time, several cities faced an onslaught of unusually intense precipitation. Guiding city bore the brunt of the torrential rain, with a staggering 350 mm, followed closely by Dingzi City, with 319.7 mm. The unrelenting rainfall caused the water levels and rivers to surge drastically, with the Zhang River, Ziyu River, Daking River, Yangding River, and Bison River system collectively receiving over 400 million cubic meters of water in just three days. Of particular concern were the Juma River, Yangding River, and Biyin River, which received substantial inflows from the capital city, Beijing, contributing to a total of 142 flooding incidents along the main river channel. As the situation intensified, authorities took swift action to protect lives and property. In an attempt to prevent further damage, 20 large and medium-sized reservoirs in Hebei province activated their flood discharge systems, releasing excess water during nighttime hours to alleviate pressure on already swollen rivers and mitigate the risk of breaches. Among the cities deeply affected was Zhuazhu, a county-level city managed by Badding in Hebei province. Known for its dense river network, Zhuazhu was particularly vulnerable to the torrential downpour. On the evening of July 31, the local authorities declared a red warning and announced a state of emergency for flood control as all rivers in the area reached alarming levels. Subsequently, water levels surged, wreaking havoc in numerous areas. By the early hours of August 1, the floodwaters surged beyond control, causing severe inundation throughout Zhuazhu. In the west of the city, Dama village, Taoyuan Street, reported water depths exceeding 4 meters, submerging homes and displacing families. In addition, the parking lot of a residential building in Zhuazhu had collapsed while rainwater continued to pour in, flooding some of the lower floors.
In the southwestern part of Zhuazhu, a warehouse suffered severe damage, with water and electricity supply interrupted, and roads rendered impassable. The floodwaters reached a height of 2 meters, causing extensive destruction and drenching all stored books in the warehouse. In response to the widespread devastation, authorities in Hebei province promptly established seven flood storage and detention areas across various regions. These areas, including Mingjinbo, Dalyus, Xiaokinghi, Languwa, Dongdin, Xianxian flooded area, and Yongding River flooded area, provided essential relief and safety for approximately 847,400 residents who were evacuated from high-risk areas. Unfortunately, neighboring Shaanxi province also bore the brunt of torrential rains, adding to the region's woes. As of 7 p.m. on Monday, a total of 42,211 individuals have been evacuated in Shaanxi province, as local authorities prioritize safeguarding lives and ensuring the well-being of residents amid the hazardous weather conditions. <laughs> The situation remains precarious as authorities continue to grapple with the aftermath of the heavy rainfall, striving to provide relief and support to communities facing the brunt of these events. With recovery efforts underway, residents and relief workers remain on high alert, battling the rising waters and striving to restore normalcy to the affected areas. <laughs>